you already know from the title of this video is I'm gonna do a quick review on this Y3 Corzell. Um, to me, Corzell is the dancing shoe. That is what I actually experienced with a pair of Corzell. And I think Corzell is look very good for everyday wear too. I think the retail value on the regular Corzell is under $100 which is very good for the people that are under budget and also they are looking for a pair of sneakers that everyday wear. However, one of the biggest reason on the Gazelle that I don't like is the shoe shape. They are a little bit narrow. If you have a wide feet, you should go half a side up. That is what I would recommend. Comforts on these shoes though, I think they are okay. They don't really have that cushioning in the midsole or the footbed and this pair of gazelle they have the name y3 attached to it so that's mean the price point is the least 200 dollars up uh, this show is cost 330 dollars which is i think a little bit expensive for the price point but the quality leather that they use on this gazelle is very good. To me, I own quite a few pair of Y3 products, especially their footwear, because I like Y3 aesthetic, you know, in general. However, I don't really like the price point that they have on their products. It's a little bit expensive. I think they have four different colorways. Uh, this one is more like a bluish, greenish colorways. They have the black like a dark black colorways and dark blue and also uh, the other one was a cream colorways I think the cream colorways look the best but hey white three colorway is much be a black colorway so that's why I bought them uh, for review I think the black colorways look very nice and the branding on this show they don't really have that much I love this hairy suede material on this upper as well as the wrap around with the suede material foxing in the entire midsole and in the side view you can see the branding three stripe is still there but it's not that visible like the original gazelle products uh, this one they use the zigzag stitch to create the three stripe branding also the extra detail that i have a love and hate relationship with it is the purposely hanging thread from the japanese shashiko inspire somehow that is give me the vibe of your nipple hair oh hell no that's what I feel like uh, when I see this hanging thread. I think I can leave without it. And closer to the hue counter, you can see the tiny name of Yochin Yamamoto embossed in silver. And in the center of the mustache, they have the embossed Y3 branding logo. Even though, right, the material sways leather that they use on this upper is black but this black piping detail around the mustache they are darker black so make it more pop with the zigzag stitch detail on top of it i like how they execute this eye stay they only have hole punch in the first and also the last of this eye stay very cool that show a little bit of the lace detail when you look at in the side view and they use leather lining around the hue counter so in the far foot and also in the mid foot they are basically used textile material for the lining mixed with the suede leather heel and in the outsole they still use the honeycomb pattern and in the center of this outsole they have the wide three branding in suede leather. Now I'm gonna give you some tips to keep the shoes longevity. Last longer than any other suede shoes that you have in your wardrobe. First, get a waterproof suede, braid the entire shoes every single wear. And the second one is do not wear the shoe during the rainy day. It's not good for your suede leather upper and the third one is after every wear, use the brush, brush all the dust that have on the shoe. You can use toothbrush as well. You don't have to get like specialty 
shoes brush the fourth one after you brush off all the dust use the shoes tree to hold the shoe shape if you don't wear them that's why i'm able to keep the shoes for almost a decade old the upper is still good if i do a little bit of the buff on top of it and keep it more like a waterproof spray it's gonna make the shoes almost like new this is perhaps one of my favorite shoes of all time very comfortable shoe uh, very bouncy somehow because they have very thick footbed inside so you feel very bouncy when you wear the show. One of the rare show from high-end fashion brand that is comfortable. You can really get these shoes from anywhere else now. No one really sells the shoes. And I have two pair of this. Yeah, this is one of my favorite shoes of all time. So there you have it. I show you guys my review detail of the shoes as well as I share with you guys some of the tips that I give my shoes longevity especially the suede leather upper type of shoe and the shoes is not cheap too so you want to able to wear the shoes longer than a season right and up next i'm gonna share with you guys my full outfit to go with the show So there you go, what you think about those three looks that I create to go with the show. I try to create different kind of colorways on these three looks because often you already know why three is mostly people wear black with it. That's why I'm kind of trying to avoid all black for these three looks. If you like one of the look in this video, give me a thumb up or comment below in the comment sections and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can't wait to share with you guys. I'm out.